Hello everyone, in this video, we are going to find the domain and range of a function. But first, let us define range and domain. So, range is resulting y values we get after substituting all possible x values. So, that means after we substitute all the, all the possible values of x, so we have the range. While the domain, domain is the set of all possible x values which will make two fun, uh, which will make the function work and will output real y values. So any possible values ang nasa domain. So any number, any real number or any negative number can be um, the domain. Okay, so let us have an example number one. So find the domain and range of a function. We have number one, points negative 3, 4, point negative 1, 8, point 0, negative 4, point 1 and 4, point 3 and 8, and point 5 and 11. See here, this is a very quick on the and on determining the domain and range so domain that is x values and the range that is y values of all points so here so in this point so our domain here is all x values so we have three we have negative one zero one three and Okay, so let us have uh, rewrite the domain. So we have negative 3. We have negative 3. Negative 1. We have 0. We have 1. We have 3. And 5. So that is our domain. And in our range, all y value so that is 4 8 negative 4 4 8 and 11 so those are the range of this point so let us rewrite we have 4 8 negative 4 we have 4 we have 8 and 11 so that is our range number two in this case, it is a function wherein we are going to think all the possible values of x to get the domain. So, let us try 1. If it is x is equal to 1, 1. So, that means our function is 1 over 1 plus 3. That means... 1 over 4. So possible that 1 is uh, the value of x. Next, when we try x is equal to 2, then we have 1 over 2 plus 3, then that is 1 fifth. So the function is work. Let us try we have 3. x is equal to 3. We have f of x is equal to 1 over 2, 3 plus 3, that is 1 over 6. What if we are going to try negative numbers? So if it is negative 1, still it is a function. Because uh, when we substitute negative 1 to the values of, to the x, 1 over negative 1 plus 3, that is 1 half. When we try 2, negative 2, that is 1 over negative 2 plus 3, that is 1. 1 over 1, that is 1. When we try negative 3, so dyan na po tayo magkakaroon ng problema sa ating function. So if it is our x is equal to negative 3, so our function is 1 over negative 3 plus 3, 1 Negative 3 plus 3, that is 0. So that is, the answer is undefined. So that means, dapat, yung ating x will not be negative 
3. So we can write the domain as x such that x is not equal to negative 3. So that we can uh, avoid the values of negative 3 to make the function undefined. So dapat hindi mag undefined yung ating function chan. Okay? <clears throat> so dyan ang tayo titingin. Then when we are going to um, get the range, so after substituting all the values of x, so that means all possible, so hindi lang siya pwede mag 0. So x such that x is not equal to 0.